It's today today? I hope so. This new chicken nest box. We've got it on a stand. It just needs to be secured. This one is not in. It's got a nice swivel bar. Chickens get up in there. It's got a nice, I don't know, that's not AstroTurf. What is that? Uh, a mat. Then, it, supposedly, they lay their eggs and they automatically roll back. Which would be awesome because then they could, there would be no possibility of them eating their eggs and or getting them poopy. Well, I guess they could still poop in the... That's what this is for. At night, you put that up so they don't perch in there and go in there and poop. You open that up during the day. This like shims to get it off the side so this can still swivel and bolts. But we have it all, we've done it on one side. It should be all right. There's stud muffin, that's the cows. Well, it's the end. We've run out of grass for the winter. We need to bring them in on deep bedding. Somebody has set the outer net up around the concrete and the sacrifice area and they've put water in. Booyah. I'm gonna find out who that was because I'll admit, just like any parent, we tend to find the faults in the kids. We tend to find the corrections. The, did you do this? Did you do that? And sometimes we forget to celebrate when they do something really good. Hey, who put the nets up around the pole barn? Got another film shoot today for the Rooted Life Masterclass. But I think we have enough time. We got so much done yesterday. We put them off a little in the morning so we have more time to do this. Come here, my man. Come here. Good job. Good job. That was a nice surprise. You know what I'm talking about? Checking the minerals? No. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's nice. The, the, the pole barn, man, you set it up. Oh, yeah. Good job. Forgetting stud and the cows over. Do you want to try your idea? You were saying alfalfa, or do you want to do nets? I don't want to try alfalfa. Okay. Just on His idea is alfalfa. My idea is nets. I'm always for intensive management, but he's always for the easiest. And sometimes it's worth a try. Okay, get him out. Kids, you got this? Yeah. Good. I'm gonna go work on the nest box. Call me when you're ready to move them. Okay, you got your muffins on? Yeah. Thanks. Well. I'm out of washers because I didn't account for two washers per bolt, just one. So let's see what we got. Lock washers, I mean that'll do in a pinch. It's kind of fun building with dad's old washers he probably saved from 50 years ago. It adds a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of story to building this nest box. But everything's going good. We got that one in, we just got two more. We should be able to test this thing out. Oh, that's my drill into the dirt. Uh-uh, no. Come on, come help me. Put yourself to put yourself to good use. Put that up on the table. This is a problem. This shim is too high, too thick, because the lid is not going to shut when we get it on there tight. So we need to pull that one off and trim it down. Uh. We done. We did it. We got one nest box going. Let's put it in there. And that's the only way we'll know if this thing will work is if we leave it in there for a while with them. We have to get the other one done before we can remove the chick shaw, but we might as well just keep this open, see if they go in there. They'll figure it out. Yeah, I guess they're running out of room in here too, huh? <laughs> Two chickens in that. Yeah, I mean, four nest box technically only good for 40 chickens. I think there's like 50 in here. Maybe more. We'll put stud muffin in the pole barn so that we can open this fence and don't have to worry about him getting out. Come on. That was easy. 
Wrong way, honey. Wrong way. Come here, Becky. You getting her? Scary. All right, well, let's focus on her first. Phyllis has gone back. <laughs> That's a good cat. Let's get Flossie over. Here they come. Cats going too, yeah. Get the cats in. Good. Now let's just get Phyllis. This is non dramatic. Everyone, this is Becky. Becky, you want to say hi? This is uh, our mother's helper coming today because we have the big film shoot and little guy's teething and we're all just going to be very busy today. We should have left somebody up there at the gate. They've started to come back out. And then she's going to come out. Good deal. Our first deposit. Thank you, Flossie. I can't bear to look. The graders are here. I know it has to happen. I know they gotta destroy to make it better. They're just, ah, oh, just, ah, oh, just getting me, just turn up the pasture. But we are gaining an acre and a half of pasture. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I wanna show these lovely people. We kind of, uh, well, I mentioned it yesterday, the Rude Life, my book. We got some Christmas bonus. Look, look, come here. You got your bookmark, print it out on some card stock. Let's print that. And then let me show you another one. And that's because that's what the, you, you get an email from me when you, when you pre order and fill out the form after you've pre ordered. And you can go in here and you can print out the bookmark, you can print out the Christmas card, you get the link to the live show. December 26th, we're going to have a book club. We're going to do chapter one of my book in the book club. Let's get this card. Let's print that out, Josiah. You go see if it's printed. So if you want to give this as a gift, you can, and then you can give them this thing, and it lets those people have a link to the webinar and the, the webinar and the chapter one. Get chapter one completely free. Get you some cardstock paper if you have it. I think that would be best. Or you could just print it on regular. Definitely the bookmark would be better on cardstock, I think. Can I have a bookmark? What is taking so long? Can I? What is in y'all's future? I don't know, I don't know Mom. Looks good. She's printed out some cookie recipes. Okay, the book is the bookmark is gigantic. <laughs> That's a gigantic bookmark. Put print that on a uh, a cardstock. I might get that a little smaller. Oh, this is nice. Now this could go on paper. You could fold it up, put it in a card, and it wishes your loved one a Merry Christmas. They can get chapter one and Here's a link to our, our webinar. Okay, well, you guys best be on your best behavior. Those cookies coming down the line. By the way, if you sign up, you're gonna get these bonuses now. You gotta sign up by Christmas, get in on the, the book club, Christmas and is a long time to any future bonuses from now till March, which includes some of these uh, master classes, like uh, the gardening one, and you'll need, and it'll come out just in time, it'll come out in February, and give you all the information you need to plan and get started on your garden this year. So that's at therootedlife.com or link down in the description. Thank you guys so much. Well, let's go over the rest of the time-lapse footage. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like anybody took us up on it, but that's because probably because they have their old nest box in here. So we'll get the other one in here and then we'll remove their current nest box and I think it'll force them to get in there. 